Hey guys, welcome to the channel Cyber Fixer. This channel was made as a last stand option for those who needs to fix when in doubt. I'm Q and let's get into it. So, the PS5 definitely came out. Um, it still has a lot of fixes that need to be done, unfortunately. Um, we're still waiting for more updates. Um, a lot of those, a lot of the updates that we have recently got has already fixed a lot of those issues, um, such as uh, rest mode has been fixed, among other things that has been fixed as well. But rest mode was one of the main issues that was causing a lot of systems to break. This time we have a different issue. So I got my PlayStation 5 around I think it was like after Christmas around the 26th um, I got my PS5 got it out the box was excited like crazy and I was like oh man I can't wait to get this thing open and you know when I first got it open I had an issue so it was like right out the box and the first issue I had was when I initially plugged the system up I miss the first beginning of the boot when it first comes on because you only get to see it once. And I'm not even sure if you can see it again if you restart the system completely again, which I haven't even tried because I just didn't feel like going through this process again. But this issue that I had was the HDMI cord goes in kind of weird. And I'm not sure if it's I'm not sure if it's just my system and or is it like something that's happening in general if you don't put the hdmi core in the correct way sometimes the hdmi core can actually be sticking out and you can't push it any further in so you think it's already in so after i noticed that it wasn't coming on tv and i was like okay let me go check the hdmi core because it was not coming on and i was like Oh my God, I got a dud system. So I go and check the HDMI cord again and I take the HDMI cord out, look at it, make sure nothing was blocking it. Um, got ready to put it back in and I noticed it went back in the same way. Like there was probably about that much room still hanging out of it. I'm like, why isn't this thing going in? Well, unfortunately, the HDMI port seems to be made of cheap material. So... If you have a trouble putting your HDMI cord in, you need to be careful putting it in because you can actually put it in wrong to the point that you think it's in there and it's not. So when you put your HDMI cord in there, it has to be flush, like flush. And I didn't know that at the time. I just got the system, didn't know how the HDMI cord is supposed to look when it goes in there. So I just put it in there and just assumed it was in there because it wouldn't go in any, any further. Um, but that was another issue that I had and I'm pretty sure it's, it's not hard to make this mistake. So just be careful putting the HDMI cord in. Um, uh, here's a picture. It'll show what it's supposed to look like when it's actually in. And I'll show another picture on what it looked like when you think it's in, but it's not. All right. All right. So let's get to the main topic. So, got my system on, fixed the HDMI cord, and I got the system running, got it on screen. I go through the initial setup, and uh, next thing I know, it says, hey, do you want to transfer your PS4 data to the PS5? And I'm thinking like, sure, why not? Why wouldn't I, you know? It'd make things a lot more easier. Um, don't do it, okay? Just flat out, do not do it. If it's your first time getting a PS5, do not do the system transfer on boot. Do not do it, okay? I went and did it. When I did it, the system just straight up, ripped. like it went into safe mode. Um, I tried downloading a... Uh, you know, the system software to reinstall it, reinitialize it, 
nothing was working and I went three days without my PlayStation 5 when I first got it. Three days. And I had it here in my house. Couldn't even play it. So, this is what I figured out. Because a lot of people are still either having this issue or have had this issue and probably had to send it into PlayStation because they could not figure out how to fix it. Well, I figured it out the hard way. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a removable hard drive that's in a FAT32 or XFAT. Um, I initially did mine in FAT32 because that's what I'm aware of PlayStation 4 needed. So I assume PlayStation 5 needed a FAT32 removable drive. Um, when you use this drive, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to the PlayStation site, go on to the support, which is at the bottom of the page. Then you go to support, you need to hit PS5, you have a system, um, you need to basically download the reinstallation of the system software. And what you want to download is you want to download the full reinstallation of it which i think is like about a gigabyte um when you download this software you put it on a hard drive that you made a uh, fat 32 um once you put it on a hard drive you need to plug it up to the playstation 5 um preferably put it on the back port the back usb um once you get it in there okay boot the system up it's automatically going to boot into safe mode because that's where you're stuck at. You can't get it out of there. Okay. And some of you have even probably tried this already and it's like, it's not working. That's what I thought too. So this is what I did. Plugged it up, went into boot mode. I tried option, I think it's seven for reinstallation of the system software instead of option three, which is the system file um that didn't work okay option seven did not work the reinstallation of the system software did not work okay try option three that didn't work either okay so after i did this numerous of times trying to get it to fix and a buddy of mine's called and he says hey bro um you know what is it doing and i'm like it's it's stuck it's not doing anything and, you know, he's like, oh, just some, see what it does if you unplug it. All right. So I unplugged it in the middle of it loading the system software. And after I unplugged it, it still did nothing. Okay. All right. So I got tired of it, waited till the next day. The next day I tried something different in addition to what my friend told me to do. Um, so I turned the system on with that same full reinstallation of the software. I used option three. Okay. On option three, it's like just the file system. It's supposed to be just a file system. And when you download the file system from the playstation.com site for, from support, the file is actually smaller. So that's how you can tell the difference from between the full reinstallation is about a gigabyte and the soft reinstallation is smaller so once you get the system on boot it on number three and we're, you're not downloading anything else you want to use that same full reinstallation software on option three once you go in option three let it load usually it's going to get stuck at 99 percent when it gets stuck at 99 percent unplug the drive all right. Now, after you unplug the drive, hold the power button until the system cuts off. When the system cuts off, you're going to press the power button again one time until it comes on. When it comes on again, it's going to boot into safe mode. All right. Once it boots into safe mode, hold that button again until the system powers off. When you do this, it's going to trick the system to make it think that you shut the system down properly. All right. Once you hold that power button to shut the system off the proper way, because that's what you want to make it think it did. Um, cut it back on one one press. Don't hold anything. Just one press like you're booting the system up regularly. And 
once you do that, that third time, it should boot up and start finishing the installation of the system software that you initially started with. Once this goes, let it do its thing. Don't bother it. When, when, you, when your system actually starts back up and you're able to do what you need to do, skip the system transfer. Do not do it, okay? Or else you're gonna have the same issue that I had and you won't be able to play your game for a while. This was probably the biggest issue that I've had so far with this system. Um, I haven't had any other issues since I've had it besides the HDMI issue that I just told you about. Um, great system, I love it. I also have the Xbox Series X. I think both are an amazing system. Um, just take your time, man. Don't, don't rush it. Um, if you guys have anything that you wanna express as far as something else you're having an issue with that you haven't figured out and you would like me to figure it out, give me a shout and I'll help you out. Um, hopefully this video helps you on fixing your stuck in safe mode PS5 due to a system transfer. Um, hopefully PlayStation will fix this as well. Um, but that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.